Hey gang, Craig Ripley here. Welcome once again to Living Off the Slab. Now today what I wanna talk about are some new accessory driving lights that I'm adding to my Triumph Tiger 1200 here. Now we've all seen those big BMWs riding around with those really bright yellow lights that uh, a lot of them have. And I know it really gets my attention when I'm driving, whether it's on the motorcycle or whether it's in my truck. I can see those bikes coming from, well, probably about a quarter mile away. Long before I can see any high-vis gear or high-vis helmets, I can see those lights. So in wanting to make myself more visible, primarily during the day, I thought it might be a good idea to again, add some new accessory lights. Now, the two most popular types of lights out there to get are either Clearwater or Denali's. Right? And both of those, well, they're rather expensive. Right? A set of Clearwater lights can run you seven, eight hundred dollars and the Denali's are really close behind. There is a, another less expensive uh, option that's called Baja Designs. So you can check all of those out. You can see the kind of prices that we are looking for in adding some of these lights onto your bike. So the question for me becomes, if I am looking to enhance my daytime visibility, right, I'm not really worried about driving at night. I don't do that very much at all. In fact, I think in the last 17 years of riding, I have done it maybe twice, right? So that's not a big concern for me. What is a concern is improving that daylight visibility. And do I need to go out and spend seven, $800 on a set of Clearwater or Denali lights? Is there a less expensive alternative? So to answer that question, a company called Colight reached out to me and asked me if I would test out some of their lights on my new Triumph Tiger. So I went out to their website and I suggest you do that too. You can check out all of their offerings. Always do your own research. Never take my word for anything because my experiences can be different than yours and you have to make sure that you're comfortable with the product and with the company that you're buying from. But if you do go out to their website, you'll see that Colite has been working with off-road vehicles for quite a long time, right? They've been working with Jeeps and trucks and those kinds of things, offering light bars and, and other kinds of accessories uh, to make all of that stuff work, right? For nighttime driving, right? Well, now they wanna branch out into motorcycles as well. So they now have this little light that I'm gonna be testing called the Rob 2 Pro. So when you order the Rob 2 Pro, this is what you get in the kit. Now, of course, you get two of the Rob Pro LED lights, and I ordered them in an amber lens in a diffuse pattern, right? Because I wanted the most coverage again, and my idea was visibility mostly during the day. However, Colite also sent me some other lenses that I can try out, both the amber and the clear flood. So we'll be doing that uh, a little bit later on. But first of all, we want to check out everything here. Now, along with, of course, those lights, I also got a wiring harness right, that I'm going to be testing out. And these are some pigtails that go to the lights and, of course, something to mount with. So the Rob 2 Pro is retailing right now on the Colite site for about $78. That doesn't include a harness. You'll have to buy a separate harness, which is going to cost you about $20 or $30. All right, and then, of course, if you want extra lenses and so forth, you'll have to buy those separately. One caveat I will tell you right up front is that the mounting hardware that they have available for motorcycles right now is very limited. They basically don't have any. They tell me that they're working on all of that right now, but if you're gonna put them on your bike, you're gonna have to go out and make up your own kit, right? You can buy something from Denali. Again, we'll get into all of these things and how I mounted these lights here in a minute. But even with having to buy things like that, the Colite is gonna come in a lot cheaper than getting a Denali or a Clearwater light. All right, so with that said, now let's take a look at how to wire these lights up. So what I'm gonna do is lay these out on my kitchen table and show you exactly how to wire them. Now the Rob Pro lights are a two wire light. So these are the lights 
the wires coming from the light. But the wiring harness has three wires, right? So typically you might have uh, a clear and an amber lens, for example, on the same light. And uh, these don't, right? These just have on and off. So I left the yellow light out when I wired them together, right? I did that on both lights. All right, then over here, what I did was I hooked up, of course, the red to the positive, and then this blue here is the trigger wire. So for right now, for testing, it is also hooked to the positive. And of course, then the ground goes over here to the negative terminal. So now I've got this switch here. So uh, said so you watch as I press this switch. All right, so the lights come on. Now they go off. And now I pressed it again and they don't come on. So I gotta press them again. So that's because I've got that other wire in there, right? That would be handling, again, either a high beam or low beam, or it would be handling a, a clear lens and an amber lens, right? So again, my switch is gonna work a little bit differently right, with this kind of setup. So now the yellow and the red wires are hooked together, so let's see what happens every time that I push the, uh, the switch. On, off, on, off, on, off. Okay, so that's how I would do it. Uh, if I wanna use this wiring harness with these lights, I'm just gonna have to hook the yellow and the red wire together so that every time I hit the switch, and it turns the lights on and off. So that is how to wire up your lights using the Colite wiring harness. I'm told that at some point they're going to be offering a two wire harness. Right now, everything they have is a three wire. So again, you'll have to, as I did in that little video, wire the yellow wire and the red wire together if you're getting these Rob 2 Pro lights. So with all that said, I am not gonna be using the Colite wiring harness. Why? Well, because on my bike, I have installed a PDM60 to isolate all of the accessories that I want on this bike from the motorcycle's main electrical system. The PDM60, or Power Distribution Module 60, that's for 60 amps, allows you to have up to six circuits hooked up to your bike. And as I said, it isolates all of those accessories from your bike's electrical system. So because I'm using that PDM60, I am gonna create my own wiring harness. And I'm not gonna get into a whole lot of detail here about how I did it. I will show you, right? But if you want the details, I'm gonna do a write-up out on my website. It'll be in my blog portion of my website. And you can read about the details about not only how to wire up the lights using the Colite wiring harness, but also what I did to create my own wiring harness. So now that we have figured out how to wire these lights, what we need to do is come up with a way to mount them, right? And there are several different options, of course, depending upon your motorcycle. Right? I, of course, have this Triumph, and unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of things that are made specifically for the Triumph to mount these lights. So you're gonna have to use some things that are more, I guess, universal in nature. So one of the things you could do is you could go to the Denali site and buy something like this. All right, these are the universal fit clamps. Uh, this one is for one inch bars, one to one and a quarter, I think. Uh, so you can mount these like on your uh, crash guards, things like that. This one is a little larger and so you can mount this on your fork tubes. All right, so that will depend upon the configuration of your motorcycle. 
it's really tough on my bike to use something like this. I actually looked into doing this, but it just doesn't fit very well with the bodywork and so forth of my bike. So I ended up opting for a slightly different version than either one of these things. I kind of made it up myself, so let me show you. What I did was I went out on Amazon and I bought these three parts. I bought a ram ball, a one inch ram ball that will attach to my one inch crash bars, my engine guards on my bike. And then I bought a short little extension arm. It's an aluminum extension arm that you have to tighten with a Torx wrench. So nobody can just walk up and loosen it and take away your lights, right? You actually have to have a wrench to do it. Third thing I bought was a one inch ram ball that I could then attach to the bracket that comes with these co-lights and altogether I made these. So the reason I decided to do it this way was that this gives me ultimate adjustability. I can get those lights exactly where I want them. Also, if I should drop the bike and these lights do hit, I'm trying to keep them on the inside of those engine guards, but if they do hit, well then this kind of mounting system should allow them to be knocked out of the way more easily. If I have a more rigid mounting system, well I'm more likely to damage the lights. So hopefully in this way, I won't do that. And hopefully, <laughs> more so, I will never find out. So okay, now we've got the wiring harness done, we've got the lights mounted, so now let's take a look at how they work. So far, I like the quality of these lights. They seem to be very well built. They seem to work quite well. Only time will tell about the durability and reliability. So check back after a couple of seasons and I'll be able to give you more information. But for $173 to put these lights on, it seems well worth it to me. So if you're interested in buying these lights, check the description of this video. I'll have some links where you can do that. And also, if you want more information about how I installed these lights and how that Colite wiring harness works, well, I'll have that all written up out in the blog section of my website. You can check out www.livingofftheslab.com. All right, guys, ride safe.